In the next step, they wash the lacquer disc with soap and water. They spray it with tin chloride and liquid silver. The tin chloride is a sensitizer that helps the silver stick to the lacquer. They wash away little bits of silver that don't stick. In seconds, one side of the lacquer has become a stunning silver disc with the grooves intact. But next, they'll add a duller metal to the silvered side in order to really stiffen the disc. They fasten it to a spindle on the underside of a tank lid. The disc spins, and they rinse it one more time. The water in the tank below is green because these nickel nuggets are dissolving into it. They lower the lid, and the spinning disc is immersed in the solution. An electric charge fuses the nickel to the silver, and the nickel settles neatly into the grooves. Now they remove it from the tank and pry the metal layer away from the original lacquered disc. This metal layer is a stamper that will be used to press vinyl records. And the lacquer disc, which has served as its mold, is discarded. Now they look for the exact center of the stamper. A worker places it under the microscope, which is part of an optical centering punch. As the stamper disc spins, he aligns the grooves with a guide in the viewfinder. When he finds the center, he punches a hole there. Next, they clamp the stamper disc into a trimming machine. The disc turns, and a cutting wheel trims the edge, cutting the stamper disc to a diameter of 32 centimeters. Now the stampers are ready to make their mark. But first, the labels must be prepared. A punch bores into the center of a stack of them, making holes. Then they place the labels on a mini press. It rises to another cutter, which rounds them out. They pour black polyvinyl chloride pellets into a hopper. The pellets fall into an extruder, which turns them into hot rubbery patties called biscuits. Hoists above and below push labels to each side of the biscuit. Suction cups hold them there, while a carriage moves the biscuit forward, then drops the biscuit and labels in the press. Two stampers mounted in the press apply 100 tons of pressure. The stampers are searing 193 degrees Celsius. They melt and mold the biscuit into a record. A quick cooling cycle hardens it and bonds the labels to the vinyl. A carriage then transports it to a trimming table. The table spins the record against a knife as it cuts away the ragged edges. Then the table takes the trimmed record to the finished stack. And the process begins again. This is a really well choreographed musical production. As one record is lifted out of the press, the next one goes in. The pressing and trimming of a vinyl record takes just 28 seconds. But it's sure to get hours of play by enthusiasts who refuse to buy into the digital revolution and still believe that vinyl is a cut above. <laughs>